Welcome everyone, it's me, it's Lucas from Foxtag. This time we have another topic for you and it is regarding the keyboard size on your iPhone and how you can go ahead and change the size of it. So yeah, that's something that we are going to discuss today. And first, let me tell you that it is actually, uh, well, if you are struggling or if the reason you want to change the size is for more precision on the keyboard, you should know that the um, keys you don't have to be actually super precise with the keyboard the target areas for each key is much larger than the button actually appears so even if you tap on the letter a little bit outside of that box it will still going to be recognized so you should not worry about that but there are a few ways how you can change the keyboard regardless the first one to change it is to for example let me just open up i don't know like any uh chat or something so if i open up uh, i don't know the messages right here let me just bring a new chat. So here's the keyboard. And now you probably know that you can see it normally, but at the bottom, you have the smiley face or a globe icon. However, if you hold down on it, you get two additional options. So you can jump to the settings, switch between the languages and like emojis and other keyboard options. But you can also change the size to smaller, which is going to be oriented to the left or to the right. So if you do like this now the keyboard is actually smaller so we changed the size technically and it is easier to type with your right hand with one finger or with your thumb basically you can come back and just come back to the same option and switch it to the left so the same stuff but you use your left uh, thumb for the uh, navigation so this is one way of adjusting the keyboard size on your iphone however it is of course not the only one Besides that, you also have some options like enabling the zoom view, the zoomed view, which is uh, going to apply to everything in your iOS, but also keyboard. So let me just show it to you right now. You open up the settings like this and you go to the um, uh, display and brightness and you can switch between uh, the uh, light and the dark options and everything. But if you scroll down to the bottom, you have the display zoom. So if you can, can click on that, for me, it is set to default. And you have a couple of previews on what it looks like, but you can put it, put it on switch it to a larger text. So if I switch it like this and hit done and use the zoomed version of that, you're going to be able to notice that once everything just resets, everything is actually larger. The icons are much larger, which looks a little bit weird. But if I go to the messages the keyboard is also going to be larger so yeah the, the size of the keyboard is technically larger as well if you compare it to what it used to look like before so yeah this is technically another way to do it but the downside is that it applies to basically every single thing you do so every single icon is going to be larger not only the keyboard now there are some other things which you can do as well so if you don't like the way your iOS keyboard looks and operates, you can go ahead and look it up inside of the App Store and download something like SwiftKey or any other third-party keyboard app. So for example, the one from Microsoft allows you to have a keyboard which is gonna look like this, and it may be of a different size. You might customize it more than you can the one from Apple. So it's up to you. The other example would be the Gboard from Google. Swift keys for Microsoft. So these are the options that you have. But besides that, there are of course many more which you can pick from, even like very interesting ones. So yeah, it's up to you, but the third party option is an option in and of itself. So these are the ways how you can change the size of your keyboard on your iPhone. Before we wrap up, I need to show you the Foxtech educational platform, which I've been working on and you can join it for free. It's gonna be linked down below in the description. And this is what it looks like. You can watch and browse the sections inside so you can go to the classroom and watch the courses which i've created for free for example there is the in this section there is a full course on uh, adobe rush so which is video editing software on your iphone and ipad like full in-depth course for free and more stuff going to be added in the future so yeah go ahead and join it right now i'll wait for you inside for now thanks a lot for watching and yeah subscribe to fox tech see you guys later